My name is Lori Parker. Welcome to Right Here in Plainfield. Today I am with Miss Tammy Westbrook and she is from Auntie Mama's New Southern Cuisine and Catering. And today we're going to learn how to make butter biscuits. Yes, Thank you for having Lori. us. Thank you. Yes. Okay. It's a pleasure to thank be you. on your show. Oh, thank you. <laughs> My <laughs> show. And to cook some biscuits yes, with you. Yes. Okay. So what do we do first with making homemade butter biscuits? Okay. Okay. It's really simple. Simple okay. ingredients. Okay. Um, and that's one reason I'm glad we're doing this because I think people, you know, may worry that things like this is hard but food is, is simple it's i would never try to make homemade butter biscuits yeah, i think you're going to change after today okay, hopefully okay. that's that's my goal well that we'll after see. today you'll feel real good about okay, just we'll going see. in and doing your thing all right so we're going to start with um three and a half cups of flour okay so do you want to do them pouring in our okay, is this three and a half uh -huh. cups of flour? Okay, now is this just regular flour? That's regular all-purpose flour. Is it sifted or I can just take it right from the can and just yes. dump it in there? Okay, so yep. we're just going to dump it all up in there. All right. Okay, yeah. all right, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> and now okay. this is six uh, tablespoons of double-acting baking powder. Double acting baking powder. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Double acting. Can you get it in a grocery <laughs> yes, store? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, not bacon, baking soda. Not, not baking soda. Bacon powder. It's bacon powder. Okay, it's a it. mixture of baking soda and another um, lifter, but it's different from baking okay. soda. I can put the recipe on AuntieMamas.com okay, if that right. would help yes. for your viewers if Absolutely. anybody wants. Yes. So you want to? Okay. All right. All right. So putting that in there. Okay. All right. All right. And this is about a third cup of sugar. Sugar. Now, okay. when I'm making butter biscuits just mm -hmm. to eat for breakfast or mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. I would put this much sugar. But if I was using the dough to make like savory meat pies okay. or on crew for like a beef wellington, Woo. I would not put the sugar. Mm -hmm. But since we're going to have beef these. Beef wellington. Some, <laughs> since we're going to have these with some good old uh, butter and jelly, uh -huh. you can put the sugar in. Okay. So. All right. And how much sugar again? I, I Third tend to, cup. You know, I got short-term memory. That's okay. Long. You're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> and now, a teaspoon and a half of salt. Salt. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what? So, so for those who you know can't have salt, is there any substitution, or you're not putting that much salt, so it should be okay? Yeah. Okay. I think you know it's up to the taste. The salt is there because just a little bit really heightens the taste mm -hmm. of the food. So. Mm -hmm. It's, it's up to them, but I think in a whole batch of biscuits, mm -hmm. one, the little portion of salt really adds to the flavor because the butter mm -hmm. we're using is unsalted, okay. and that is okay. why, yeah. to not yeah. over salt yeah. okay. the food. Because And the reason why I'm new Southern okay. is because I don't use, I try not to use so much of the things that have over the years become right. a hindrance to our Clog culture and arteries. our people. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I have high blood pressure, and I can't tell you, I, okay. it's so hard to stay away from the salt, but, you know, it's, you know, I have to. Okay. So, that's so, good to know. And, and the other thing, too, for someone who wants to make sure they're controlling mm -hmm. the salt mm -hmm. is to not use so much butter. So if you'll look for me in the, open the refrigerator okay. right, right there. Right. And right there on the top shelf, okay. I, we over there in, I pre-measured the butter. Okay. All right. All right. So that is. So does this have to be room temperature or you can keep it in a refrigerator or? You want it chilled. Okay. And the reason you do is because the, the more chilled your butter is, the lighter and flakier your biscuits are. It's really, really a lot of chemistry to it. A lot, I think a lot of people So, don't. okay. So it has to be chilled because I would chilled. think that it needed to be room temperature in order for you to mix it and get all light and fluffy. So it's the opposite. It's the opposite it needs for to be biscuits. Chilled. Right. Okay. For biscuits. Okay. Right. For cakes, right. you would want that to be. Um, oh. Mm. little room temp but okay. for biscuits and pie crust mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and flaky doughs yeah. yeah you want it to be chilled okay so we have flour salt sugar and baking powder so far yes and now you're going to add mm -hmm. the chilled butter yes okay. and, this is and it's unsalted part. it's unsalted and, and <laughs> I'm adding um, 10 
tablespoons. Ten tablespoons. Yeah, because okay. I like butter. You like I butter. Like okay, butter. so do you just throw that mm -hmm. in there? Okay. We're going to dump them in. Okay, yeah. that in there. And I know you said you're not a baker, but you're doing, you're looking real natural. <laughs> yeah, I do not bake. And my daughter says, Mom, don't, don't even try baking because you burn everything. And what it is, is I put it in the oven and it's out of sight, out of mind. Okay. So I go talk on the phone and next thing you know, the fire alarm is going off. So I'll stick to what I know. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you'll. Okay. Now, I'm just going in because, you know, it's. I kind of tend to make biscuits the way my mom did. Okay. And this, I would see her do this every day. And where did you grow up? At? I grew up in a small town in Kentucky on the Mississippi River. Kentucky. Like, right at the Tennessee border. Okay. Shout out to Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And okay. Every day, my mom and the women in the neighborhood would make biscuits because mm -hmm. they were just such a staple mm. of our diet. Right. There. Right. They were easy. Yes filling. Absolutely. You could make a lot of them for a little bit of money. Right. So right. they were natural, okay. you know, a and part delicious. of my life. And mm -hmm. oh, God. I love to sop it up a bit with gravy. Oh, and oh girl, molasses mm. and, and mix the syrup with the yeah, butter yeah, and then yeah. sop the biscuit in. Now, this is also to me the sexy part of cooking and making the sexy biscuits. Part. Yes. What's the sexy Getting part? Get your hands in it. So uh, I'm going to... <laughs> So I got nail. So okay. So just go in there and just mash it all and, together. Yes. And what we're looking okay. to do is okay. mix the butter into the crumb. We don't want to really see the the. We're just gonna kind of sift it through your fingers and mm -hmm. breaking down the butter to okay. mix it through. All right. So we're just really crumbling the butter mm -hmm. up into the flour. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> therapeutic. <laughs> it is. It's very much therapeutic. I agree. Yeah. Okay. It's All doing right. Good, and you just want to lift it in through and mix okay. it, because after this step, we're mm -hmm. going to add the milk, okay. and pretty much done. Once we add the, this is we we mix the dry ingredients first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we add the butter in. We're going to mix it through, mm -hmm. and once we add the milk, we want to work the dough quickly. You know, this is like I feel like I need more muscle. This is kind of you know. <laughs> Isn't it? right, and yeah. you know, isn't that something about how work, the, the the preparation of a meal historically has been so much more work than it is today. Yeah. And I I tend to like. I think that's one reason why I cook. Mm -hmm. I like cooking is because it's very earthy and very. Yeah. Okay. All right. Is that good, or we need to go some more? We need to, what we want to. <laughs> We don't, oh, okay. we wanna... <laughs> you don't want no big old chunks like this. Yes. <laughs> okay, all right, so we got to keep going. Yeah, let's all right. keep going. We're going. I'll help. All right. <laughs> they always say, what, two heads are better than one? Hey, four hands. Four no, hands. Two hands. Yeah, yeah, two in this yes. case. Yes. All right. All right. I'm going to have some muscles coming out of this. <laughs> And mom, when we, um, another thing that's good to do when you're mm -hmm. making biscuits, and I would really recommend it to parents with mm -hmm. those little kids, okay, to make it together and then give them dough oh. to, to just. We used to make all kind of little stuff. Okay, so I feel it. So you you don't even feel the butter exactly. anymore. It just goes right into the flour, so it yes. feels all like flour. Yes. Okay. All righty. I would have never good. guessed that. Okay. I think we're yeah. good. All okay. Right. So now, once we pour the milk in, we want to quickly mm -hmm. work the dough through because we don't want our dough to get stay wet too long. Mm -hmm. The longer it stays wet before it's cooked, okay. before it gets the heat, okay. it will toughen. Okay. All right. So, so you want to quickly pour in your all milk. your all okay. your milk. And yep. how much milk are we pouring in? A cup and a half. A cup and a half. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And now we're going back in. Real. <laughs> oh God. Okay. All right. You good? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yes. Yes. Woo. And we're looking for it to stay together. Once it stays okay. together. Mm -hmm. I think I'm making a mess out no, of No, you're not. No. It may look like it, but you're doing okay. great. Okay. <laughs> and just mix in all that dry. Okay. All right. Or you're doing great. Okay. Let me get serious now. <laughs> okay. Now. I'm going to add you a little bit. 
little, little bit more flour, flour to make it stay together. Okay. And when you're confident that you're good, let's put it right on out here and we'll mix the rest of it in right here on How's the top. How's this looking? Is this looking like a mess? <laughs> Delicious. Delicious. Okay. All right. All right. Wait. And now I'm gonna tell you a good way to clean your hands. Thank you, please, because here. right now, you know, I was gonna use this as a mask or something. <laughs> good idea. Oh, okay, and then we dump it right on the counter, okay? Yep. All right. So far, this is pretty simple. This Very is pretty simple. simple. We are almost yeah. done. Yes. I guess this could be kind of, you know, sexy. Yeah. For a man watching you in the kitchen like, my baby made homemade butter biscuits. I'm telling you. <laughs> so now once we got our dough okay. out on the counter, mm -hmm. Lori, we just want to mix it, basically get it into a nice roll formation. Okay. We don't want to mix it a lot because the more we mess with it, the, the less flaky it'll be. Okay. And we take our rolling pin mm -hmm. and we just want to... I have to tell you, I don't own one of those. I guess I have to get one now. You know, <laughs> oh, they are there. You know, it's funny. You don't even, you have to almost go to specialty stores to get them anymore. Okay. And what I'm doing now is okay. some people buy um, biscuit cutters. Okay. I don't. I just use my little. Whatever you have around the house. Yeah. Can. Okay. And it's bigger than the normal two inch biscuit. Okay. But I like um, bigger biscuits. Okay. So. I like bigger biscuits too. Okay. Mm, what other type of things can you put on biscuits? Okay. You can take this a uh, biscuit and make um, shortcake. Shortcake. Especially okay. a, a biscuit dough like this that okay. we put sugar in mm -hmm. would be perfect for shortcakes. Okay. Excuse me. Shortcakes would be perfect for shortcakes. Okay. Um, finish telling me about you know the women in your life. Okay. Yeah. The, I have a, a group of young women that that like to kind of hang out around my house. Okay. And and I one thing that I want them to understand is the power when you the power of your position is in what you know. Okay. And I tell them all the time that a hard working man loves to eat good, wholesome, simple food. Mm. And when you can do that simple. Simple you're empowered because now we were taught down south the way to a man's heart is through his stomach <laughs> and i don't know if you hear that too much anymore but i think we it's very relevant yeah, okay I hear it. so my goal for them is to to know how to just do some of these simple things right. and and the empowerment for their family too financially right, you know right, you, right. you can make a whole lot of biscuits with mm -hmm. with a bag of flour mm -hmm. and rather than just a one meal. little. A whole meal. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Because once you have the dough made, mm -hmm. you can, you know, you can make fried pies, you can make fried shortcake pies. for dessert. Okay. And what I'm doing now is, and you can help me with this. Okay. Is take them and I just turn them over in the butter to get some on top. Okay, so you melted and, and, a little bit of butter mm -hmm. already. And it's already there. Okay. And you can do these other okay. two. Okay. <laughs> She's put me to work. <laughs> You're doing great. You are just excellent at this. Okay, so just turn it over in the butter. Uh huh. Okay. And, and there we go. Wow, that's gonna be buttery. <laughs> you remember all that butter we put in there, yeah, and now that. she's putting butter just, on. Oh. And okay. you, some people, you know, if like when I do, I cook biscuits about twice a month. Okay. So. I do, I have, I, I use the butter, but it, for somebody who, you know, may be watching their weight or something, right. they can do, um, just spray the pan. With yeah, cooking I'm oil not spray. watching my weight these <laughs> days, so. <laughs> and it, when you're putting them in, sometimes with the flour mm -hmm. gets caked on by just Dust them off okay. like your hands All like right. that. So you don't want a lot of flour once you start to butter If you, it does, you know, just so that, I, you know. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. It's but okay. Probably not preferred. Okay. Got it. <laughs> so those are ready to go into the oven. Okay. And what do you put the oven on? On 385. 385. And okay. they don't take long to cook. So you only need about eight, ten minutes. Eight to ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All righty. And so we ready to go to the oven? Yes. All Let's fine. go. Now, as as far as your your catering services, what other types of dish do you cook? Okay. I make. My family are Southern barbecue specialists. Okay. We had a Southern barbecue, wood smoke barbecue business back in, in my hometown of Hickman, Kentucky for years. Okay. My dad and uncles used to dig the pits and 
put yes. whole goats and hogs every year. Wow. We have a, <laughs> can whole I just share? Whole goats and hogs, yeah, sure. It was one, we had a, a it, it's kind of like Juneteenth in Texas, but where I grew up was called the 8th of August. The 8th of August. The 8th of well, August. I like that, because I'm a Leo. My birthday's in August. So. Okay. okay. The 8th of August. Okay. If you go to Hickman today, uh -huh. the 8th of August is a huge deal mm. because it was the emancipation celebration for our community. Wow, so it that. was more behind Christmas. Mm -hmm. It was the next most special holiday for black people in Hickman, Kentucky. Wow. And so that's when the, the men would, would dig pits and do the goats and the, the whole hogs barbecue. So I I think I, I learned to attach a love for food and mm. for the love of the preparation because mm -hmm. they would take all day and night to prepare their food. So the love that goes into mm. taking time with yes. food. Yes. I think I picked that up from that. So, and just the love of barbecue. Simple, again, mm -hmm. salt and pepper basically is all you need for good barbecue and wood smoke. Okay. And so what are some of your popular dishes that you have at Auntie Now, Mama's? you know what, here in, in New Jersey, okay. it's the catfish. It's the catfish. The fried catfish Ooh, and hush I puppies. I love me some catfish. So, I, got a, <laughs> I, I would love to prepare some for you. Uh, I would love for you to prepare some I for will, me too. You would, <laughs> We can take care of that. Yes, okay. <laughs> All right, and what would you say your uh, popular dish is? What's your favorite dish? My favorite would probably be the wood smoke barbecue. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I got to tell you, it's nothing like coming home and walking in that door and smelling some good smelling food. That's it. Mm, I get yes. like a little kid start dancing around. Yeah. I don't know if I would have been able to hang out <laughs> on the 8th of August. And you said they cooked all day and they all night? They would cook all day and all night. What the time men did you outside eat? and the women in the house. I'm too greedy. Stop. I need to eat like now. As soon as I smell it, I want to go in the pot. I want to taste it. And you know, so I don't know if I would have lasted over there. Girl, <laughs> we were so busy cooking. Okay. All the other stuff to go with it. So, all right. You know. Yes. I'm sorry. After about eight to ten minutes mm -hmm. in the oven at three eighty-five, okay. okay. you should wow ah, look be at able those. to have the goodness, the hotness, yes. the love yes. in it, I girl. Love it. <laughs> I can't wait to taste one. I need one. <laughs> Come on, we gonna do this. Okay, but, yeah, let's get some butter and jelly. Okay. <laughs> Well, it was a pleasure. You, I appreciate Lori. you having us. I, and, you know, we want to show people in Plainfield that we have a lot of talented people. We have delicious food. We have great businesses and restaurants. And you don't need to go outside of Plainfield. Love it. It's all Absolutely. right here in Plainfield. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, guys. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. 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 Okay.